dear students in this module uh, i'll be continuing what we started in the previous module it's a continuation of uh, how to select your isp what features you need what you are looking and what you should be looking for in a database service provider and all the associated things with it one important aspect with reference to domain name is managing your domain now i have stressed domain registration domain names a lot of times because it is very important as i have shown you in previous slides a domain name can be selling for tens of hundreds of millions us dollars that's a huge amount of money and as uh, so the keyword is very important and as uh, in the property business the saying goes that it is the location it is the location the third is also the location so it is a domain name everything is a domain name so i'll talk more about it so when you are deciding about your internet service provider when you are deciding about your database service provider these are the some of the things which you should be looking at that which services do you need it depends upon what you already have and how do you get started should it be a dedicated connection should it be a switched connection and so on and how to select an isp what you should be looking for should be the bandwidth should be the pricing should be the support what else and the issues of domain ownership which i'll go into more detail and finally how to connect your server to the internet what options do you have so let's go ahead so these are the services uh, which you should be needing and maybe you have most of those services if not all of them depending upon what you're doing so uh, you have those internet telephony also which has been around for a while and instant messaging which takes very short time to exchange messages telnet connection and you may also need ftp connection file transfer protocol depends upon what type of solution you have opted for and how much money you have paid for and so on so i will not go into more details because everybody or most of the people knows about those things so how do you get started which services you already have now if you have a website it means that you have a mechanism to connect to that website and you have a mechanism of uploading the files to that website and removing the files from that website also right and if you have a domain name or a server site okay then of course you can also have the specific domain specific email address you at uh, my excellent domain.com okay you have that email address depend if you have your domain name also and uh, of course what type of facility you have to upload the files when you have your own domain name and so on what type you do you have a shell environment or a limited and whatever and do you have database hosting so uh, you can have a domain name and you can have all these facilities but you may not have database hosting so if you have and you must be developing web based database applications so you must have database hosting facility if you don't have it it means you need database hosting of course there are different packages of course there are different facilities and different pricing i uh, will talk about them and we'll go through them go over them also so how do you choose an isp uh, look for the isps which are and who are operating in your area there may be national isps there may be regional isps isp is an internet service provider and you should be talking to the isp which operates in your area or we you are you should be talking to the isp uh, which is a national isp okay and is offering the plans okay and the pricing in your area which they have advertised because it may so happen is that the plans the plans and the pricing which has been offered may not be available in your area may not be offered in your area so don't assume anything check find your bandwidth needs how much traffic you will be looking at over the period of time okay 
because high bandwidth needs if you pay, if you're paying a lot of money for the high bandwidth and you will not be needing it so why pay the extra money test your bandwidth see how much traffic is going across your website and finally then select your ISP so remember that if you make the right choice if you make the right connection if you make the right contract then you can go ahead for a long time with your ISP instead of some ugly breakup and you are left with your files and data and uh, high and dry it's very it can be very tragic issues of domain ownership issues of changing the host now if you don't own a domain try to understand these things uh, the details are in, are in the in the in the notes if you don't own a domain you may be hosted on a website or a company which is uh, company.com slash customer slash your company okay now if that company closes or you move to another company your address may change the second company dot com slash tilde okay some customer slash your name now what's going to happen that the people who have your address earlier if they type that address they will not lead to anywhere that is the big problem so that is the issue of that of having not having the domain name you need to have your own domain name so this makes that hosting transparent to the visit visitors what will happen is that uh, if you you have your domain name if you change your isp internet service provider or the web database service provider where you're hosting your website only one entry needs to be made in the central registry or with the isp only one entry that's it you are in business become at least one domain contact now when you register the domain there are two contacts billing contact technical contact you must be one of those contacts otherwise you cannot make changes in your domain you cannot transfer your domain okay and because these contacts authorize right when you register a domain the the company selling the domain will automatically make themselves the billing and the technical contact check with them okay because then if if you are not there it's very difficult to shift your domain from company a to company b you should be careful about those things this domain is very expensive it, it is a very high value all your effort has gone into it it can be costing a bundle okay and finally how do you connect your web site okay you use a static ip static ip means that an address is given to your to your uh, application running on a server and that is a fixed address you can attach devices at that address you can attach a camera on the static ip address because that is fixed okay or or you can have a permanent connection permanent connection your uh, server is permanently connected to the internet over lease line over isdn over frame relay of course the cost varies or you have your server physically moved to the isp it sits there it is taken care over there okay and finally is your database hosting database hosting on your isp on the same machine or different machine that we have already discussed in the previous module so that's all i have to say and discuss in this module Thank you for your time.